morning, you guys. We're doing our core more Pilates 10.0 version today. We do not need any equipment, but a mat would be good and probably um, a second mat if you have sensitivity in your back or your spine. And be mindful of your movements. If you hear things that are cooking or popping, adjust that range of motion so that we don't get that. Okay? All right, we're going to start with an oblique roll back. So we're nice and even on our sits. Our feet are about a distance apart. I want those arms in front of you, and you're gently going to drop that chin to chest as you roll back, leading with your elbows. Stack up the vertebrae and roll back up. Down and up. So reach with that elbow and release it back nice and tall. So we get this nice spinal stretch as we drop back, really pulling in that chin, curving out that spine. Let's give ourselves 30 more seconds right here. Slow and controlled for me. Good job. Almost there, you guys. Stay with this. Right here, you get a little break as we transition. We're going to have our fingertips facing our glutes as we lift up those feet into a thruster. So we're going to do about 15 seconds in between each exercise. If you need longer, take it. Good. Lift those knees for me. Put that weight in your sits bones. Extend those legs out and then draw them back in. Out and in. So the higher our legs are, it's more of a modification. The lower those legs are, the more challenging it is. So you can choose where you press out. Extend and pull. Extend and pull. So again, if that hip is popping on this extension, maybe we lift those legs up a little higher. Keep going, you guys, keep going. Right here. Squeeze those legs for me. Let's go ahead and do 30 more seconds right here. Press and pull. Good work. Almost there, you guys, stay with this. Give me about 15 seconds. Yep. Right there, good work. All right, so if you need a sip of water, you get that. We're gonna roll down all the way on our back, use those knees for support. We're gonna practice that imprint as we prep for our hundred. So you're pushing that lower back into your mat, so you feel it contracted and strong the whole time. Head can be lifted or hands can go by behind your head to modify, but arms are nice and long if we can. Start with those legs in tabletop and we'll add progressions as we practice. All right, here we go, big inhale prep. Exhale, draw that imprint in, push that lower back down. You can add that pulsing action with your arms. Press down for resistance. Stay strong here. Now we can extend those legs, squeeze those legs together, and we start to lower to add that challenge. So stay here. Keep pushing that lower back down. Squeeze those legs together for me. Nice and strong, you guys. Stay with this. Keep breathing. So again, if your head needs a break, you can let it lie on the ground or put your hands behind your head. 30 more seconds right here. Almost there, you guys. Almost there. Come on, stay with it. Draw those knees in your chest. Maybe rock side to side. Little break here. Releasing any tension that might have built up in that back. We're getting ready for a crisscross. So arms are going to go behind our head for support. We're going to lift up that head for a chest lift and opposite elbow to knee. Reach, reach, reach. So try to pick your shoulder up off your mat as you bring it across your body. The lower our legs are here on that extension, 
the harder it is. So you choose where you want to extend from and modify as needed. Keep pushing down into your mat through your core. In about 30 more seconds right here. Stay strong for me. Right there, hug your knees, counter stretch, rock side to side, releasing tension there. Good job. We're getting ready for a single leg glute to bridge combination. So we're gonna go ahead and press those arms down by our sides, nice and long. And we're gonna take those arms and put them behind our head, actually, as we bring a leg up, and then we switch. But we can start in this bridge as we press our hips long. So we bring it in, cross, in, cross, drop your hips, and double crunch in. So press your hips up, take it across, across, lower, double crunch in. Across, across, lower, double crunch in. Just like that. Keep going. If just if you start traveling a little bit. Now you can do all this with those hips on the ground if you needed to, right? Keep moving, you guys. 30 more seconds right here. Almost there. Finish it right here. Double crunch in and hold. Little break here, side to side. So now we're gonna just focus on this right leg in this single leg loop with an extension, okay? So arms are long, this is where we start it. We extend that right leg high, we lift those hips up and we lower that leg and lift. And you can drop those hips down if you need to, or you can stay up in that lift for a challenge. Right here, come on. Keep breathing, stay strong, push down through that left plant foot. Good work, push down into those arms for resistance. Stay here, 30 seconds to go. So remember, if we needed a break, we drop our hips, then we press back into it. Do what works for your body. Keep going, keep going. Almost there, team. Right there, hug your knees, little break. Rock side to side. We're gonna get ready for that other side. Arms are nice and long by your sides. Push down into your mat for resistance. Go ahead and press up into that bridge, grounding down our right foot this time, left leg extends high. Lower and left, lower and left. Keep those arms long for me. Good, just like that. Keep going, team. Keep going. Right here. Keep pushing down into the ground with those arms and that right foot. Stay strong here. Give me 30 more seconds. Remember your option to drop those hips if you need a break. And then jump back into it when you're ready. Nice and easy. Keep reaching up through those toes. Right there. Draw knees in your chest, rock side to side. Use your knees to help you roll up. We're doing a side plank, but we're gonna keep those knees bent, or at least the bottom knee as we press up, really focusing on those top side of legs. 
Okay, so grinding down one side. We'll wait for a buzzer. Nice and even on that side. Three, two, so we're gonna lift here and release down. Press up and down. We are stacking our shoulders here. So we're not over rotating with that top arm and it's going behind our head. If you're ready, you can add both legs and extend it out or just stay here. And it really does focus on those obliques. You have 30 more seconds. Keep going, you guys, keep going. Yes, you will feel those glutes a little bit. Keep pressing those hips up. Feeling strong here in our core. A little squeeze at the top. Right there. I'm going to switch so I can still see you. You can just roll over into the side plank on the other side. Keeping that bottom knee down, making sure the shoulder is right above our wrists. We're pressing down into this front leg, keeping everything stacked and lined up. Little breath, big inhale. Here we go, extend up, reach out through the top of your hand and release down. So press and release, press and release. Now your vision can be up high for neutral spine or you can look down low if that feels better for your neck. Keep going. Almost there you guys, come on. Squeeze those obliques at the top for me, squeeze. Go ahead, give me 30 more seconds right here. Press up, release down. Good job. Almost there. Three, two, right there. Go ahead, release all the way down. So we're gonna get ready for some glute work. It's a bridge series, no equipment today. We'll start with those feet about hip distance and we're gonna roll ourselves all the way back down. Nice long arms by our sides. We're gonna go up for two, squeeze your glutes, and release down for two. Up, up, down, down. Try not to let your glutes rest at the bottom. So they're slightly touching, and then press back up. So a little kiss, and press. Keep going, just like this. Breathe. Yes, you can. Come on. Almost there. Arms are nice and long by your sides, drawing their shoulders away from our ears. Keep breathing. Hold the top. Squeeze. So you're pressing your hips up, little pulses. Pushing down through both your feet evenly. Stay strong. Got this, you guys. Stay with me. We aren't here very long for our glute portion, but you should start to feel it heat up. Good job, release those hips back down. Press that right foot up and extend and release. So a single leg bridge. Good. Stay here for me. So now we're really feeling that left side heat up. Go ahead, swap feet for me. So this time your right foot's down, left leg lifts. Release and press. Down and press. Down and press. Down and press. Stay there, come on. Keep breathing. Keep pressing down into those arms, nice and strong upper body. Release both feet down. Press your hips up, you're gonna pulse. Two, three, release. 
press, two, three, release, press, two, three, release, press, two, three, release. So remember when we release down, it's just a little tap and then press back up so those glutes don't release their tension fully. Press, two, three, release, press, two, three, bring it back up, you're pulsing here. Good job, you guys. Stay with this. We're almost there. Stay strong. Yes, you can. Come on. Release it all the way down. This time when you press up, we bring those knees together, back out, and lower. Up, together. Out, down, up, together, out, down, up, together, out, down, up, together, out, down, lift, together, out, down, press, together, out, down, press, together, out, back up you go, hold, lift right heel, and left. Finish this. Last 30 seconds and I'm going to stretch you out. Keep those arms long for me. So we're lifting and releasing heels. Three. Right. Here, draw your hips down and your knees to chest. Rock side to side, releasing tension that might have built up there. Extend that left leg long, keep your right knee pulled into your chest and then out towards your pair, towards your armpit, releasing that piriformis, the outside part of our glutes. Hold. Gently switch, other side, drawing that knee into your chest and then out towards your armpit. Good. Draw both knees to your chest. Use them to help you roll up so you're seated and facing me. We're going to take those feet together, knees apart, pressing down with our elbows. That bridge work gets our inner thighs a little bit. Stay here. Happy Friday. If it's your Friday. And then go ahead and release one leg long, so our seated tree pose. This time I want you to take the opposite arm out wide first and then it's going to come up over our head so we're releasing tension in that lower back. Hold it here. Good, and gently release. Other side, extending out. Keep that foot flexed when the opposite arm reaches out wide. And then we start taking it up over our head and hold. And release both legs in front for me, nice and even on that six bones. And we're gonna take those arms up, 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 and we start drawing them down. Maybe they find your feet or your shins or your ankles, your knees, wherever they find. Hold it here, relax that upper body. Someday we're gonna get that chest to our thighs, if not today. Let's shift those hips for me. So you're making one leg longer than the other. You're gonna feel this stretch in that short leg. And gently shift, go the other way. Good, and shift so they're even. One more time, maybe we point our feet here, flexing back, pointing forward. And one more time, flex. Such good work today, you guys. Have a great day, keep working out, stay safe. I miss you, I love you, I can't wait to see you in person. But until then, stay safe, bye.